So this is the remains of the farm shop. An absolutely freak fire took the whole lot. The butcheries at the back there where my knives and my chopper were. Let's just go around to the entrance. So I don't know if you could see that trolley at the back. So we're going in now this crazy, crazy thing to where the butchers was. So there's the fridges and all the sausages there. And of course, the serve over that table to the left there, the block there, and if you can see at the back, that set of shelving where there's that bird, that's where my knives were found. So yeah. That was a customer, that was a customer I was serving. Yeah. Yeah, you were saying that, Shane, weren't you? That was the last customer in here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's eerie, that is. It's scary. Yeah. It yeah. yeah. Wow. But we're rebuilding. Some of you may or may not know I was helping out a friend at his butchers and tragically, tragically burnt down to the ground, took the whole lot, the whole shop, all the equipment, and I had these knives in a Victorinox case. So what I have here then in this swanky case, this is my go-to butchery kit. I help a few friends here and there uh, in their butcher shop, so I take this along with me. I've got everything I need here. So I've got an array of knives, which we'll talk about in a minute. Underneath this lovely chopper. Now I know it's a wooden handle. That's an original, beautiful Spear and Jackson chopper, which I was given by my mentor 21 years ago. My old chopper. That's an Eftic steak knife. That's a Victorinox scimitar. That was my carving fork. My meat... Uh, the word needle that was my ham leg boner that was another Victrinox knife Victrinox rabbit knife two Victrinox semi flex boning knives poultry shears and then a steel now the rest of this here I can live without the thing I can't is this chopper this is a chopper from the early 1900s was given to me by one of my mentors and this is a bit I wanted to find because we're going to bring this back to life. My mate Ollie, the blacksmith, said it can be done. So I'm going to give it a bit of a dust off, get a Brillo pad on it, see what we got underneath. But being the clever man he is, we'll get some new rivets, he'll fashion a new wooden handle and I guarantee you this will be back in working order as for these wow i think i'm gonna have them framed actually so at the end of the day i've lost a handful of knives which can be replaced they lost their whole business and their house so yeah i got off lightly but they're rebuilding i will be back there working when they do and hopefully taking this chopper so I've just scraped off all the ash and whatever was on there. You can see the original metal underneath. So what I'm gonna do, get some hot soapy water and a Brillo pad and see where we go from there. But yeah, this can be rebuilt. I know it can. And it will mean the world to me to be able to use it again have the handle made it's going to be cracking just going to make sure you don't drag because that if it doesn't take fly out the hand it will wear the edge down badly right okay it's got history isn't it it's got mega history this house i couldn't leave this 
you know? Did you go and dig it out? Yeah. Is it like in there? Oh, mad. Crazy. Wow, that's looking nice, that edge. Look at that. So it's going to look really bespoke with that patina on it, yeah. <laughs> that scale. Organised sectors are one one. Yeah. Look at that. It's lovely how that's come up. Yeah, I mean, bear in mind when it's oiled a little bit. It's, it's going to look amazing. Okay then, Ollie. So, like we said, a million miles away from what turned up. So you've ground off the scale, is it? Well, I've polished the scale. Yeah. And you've just you're not. You're never going to get it that back down to a, no. a shiny looking but knife. It's going to look like one of them fancy um, bespoke made ones. Yeah, it will look like a hand forged knife, wouldn't yeah, it? Yeah, lovely. And then ground a little bit of an edge. But you're going to put that. Yeah, on we've, the wheel we'll put and all that. we'll put it on the belt. We'll put it on the belt sander and then and then the wheel. But. To start with, we just kind of got it, get it looking like an yeah. edge, and, and as it was, it was yeah. looking like it was beaten. So it probably had a beach handle on beforehand. I um, mean, the one I've got at home has got a beach handle. It was a very British thing to put on it at mm. one point. You know, it's easy to turn, yeah. so easy to machine. And we're not going to put beach back on it for... We're going to put some beautiful oak. Yeah. Not just any old oak. Yeah, we're going to put some special oak on it. Yeah, we'll talk we'll, about that a bit yeah. later. So what we're doing now then? I mean, oak's completely the wrong thing for it, but you know, I take the view. I mean, they build houses out of oak, not beach. Yeah. And it's a part of. <laughs> and you're not going to put you're not going to be putting in the dishwasher, are no. you? No, and it's a historical piece of yeah. oak, so it belongs. This, this this bit of oak is going to mean a lot to you, I think. Yeah, cool. So we took these original rivets or whatever they're out of. Yeah, so these would have been designed just to be press fitted together. Yeah. Um, we haven't got the tooling to do that. But, I mean, we could just buy press fit rivets but then they they won't sit flush with the handle which, yeah. which we really want so we're going to put um, so we're going to put a brass dowel in instead it's a bit Beautiful. chunkier personally i think that thickness looks it's going to look really <laughs> good. look better yeah. than it would have done before yeah because they were a bit wet yeah so yeah basically then we're going to drill bigger holes for the dowel and then sort the wood out yeah yeah we'll, yeah, we'll cut the wood down to so we'll We'll put it through the bandsaw so it's uh, the right thickness for our scales. Yeah. And then we'll transfer the holes over to it. It's going to look rough to start with the wood, but it doesn't matter because we have to kind of get it all mm. sort of roughly positioned first and then we'll get it fettled in place. The fat lip. All right, mate. So drilling holes next, yeah? Yep. Yeah. I think you're right, you know, like now we use the stainless steel ones in hot soapy water all the time. You couldn't do it with that. But like you so rightly just said, they looked after their tools more, didn't they, end of the day, oil it. Yeah. And look after the wood. Maintain it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm getting excited about this, dude. I thought it was going to be bigger. Yeah. That's quite so hefty in the size of things. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, very light. Yeah, yeah. But that's probably too big for me. Mm. <laughs> too big said the, for me, said the actress to the bishop. <laughs>
that's um, that's an importer. Oh, is it? Or an exporter from the states? Yeah. So, how old would you say this is? No idea. Well, that, that company there. Yeah. Their factory got, you know, the housing estate got put in their factory like 20 odd years ago, I think. But, so you think this is an American machine then? I think this one's been brought over, yeah. Yeah. I imagine there'll be someone out there who could tell us. Let's have a look at it a minute. It's, it's different handed as well. Yeah. So normally that, you know, you know push through from this side. Yeah. I get you. It's a monster though, isn't it? Yeah. Awesome. Sounds like some old plane starting up. So like we were saying a minute ago, moved it into the light so you guys can see. And we're looking at the pattern on the outside. Yeah? Yeah, so we're looking, well, to start with, to check that we haven't got any uh, shakes or flaws or cracks or anything like that. Yeah, yeah. Make sure we're going to use the bit that's not going to fall apart as soon as we put it on. And obviously this, uh, this wood's got a bit of history to it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we took this out, the, the tower at Worcester Cathedral when the steps were having their, their steps were going through a replacement. So how many years old would you say this so is? So we they're over 100 years old. Yeah. Uh, they've had a few, few monks, bishops, actresses, the Queen possibly, soldiers throughout the World War. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Going up and down them. So they got some history. It's pretty special, these bits of wood. So I had this off my mentor who was a Worcester butcher, St. John's, believe it or not, this come out of the shop. You can see the cathedral from it. Yeah. Yeah. And then we're going to have this put on the handle. So yeah, very special. I mean, obviously Oak's not, you know, not the standard when it comes no. to handling things, but there isn't really a, a great reason why you can't. No. Have it, as long no, as you look after uh, it. Yeah. Just take it home with you at the end of the night. Don't leave it anywhere. Yeah. yeah? So next on the agenda then, Ollie, is holes for the dowel yeah yeah so we're just going to mark it all off yeah get these blanks roughly cut to size we're not going to shape them or anything no no um and then it will be a case of gluing them all together yeah go from there awesome so ollie this is turning into like the coolest lego kit ever isn't it so we got our chopper chopper we've cut bullet casings bullet casings <laughs> The rivets or whatever you guys call it i ain't got a scooby do then we've chosen these blanks i don't know if that's picking up on the camera yeah beautiful yeah this is my favorite but... yeah like i said to ollie a minute ago i'd have just cut some and whacked it on <laughs> twice <laughs> yeah mickey mouse <laughs> so next we're gonna drill the holes Ready for this, so you can like have a dry run just to see what the crack is before you yeah, get fettling. These, these have been really rough cuts. So, yeah. Um, right then, Ollie, we've got our handle blanks roughly cut to shape, haven't we? You know, size. So we're just going to drill yeah, the holes in it. Oversize. And uh, yeah, dry fit it with the. We're going we're to do this a bit backwards to how some of these knife making tutorials and things will have. Yeah. You, have you do? Well, they're going to be on my case, man. The well, knife makers. Yeah, I'm sure they will be. Yeah, when they, when they see how we're doing it. It's like a chopping block. Get off, man. Perfect. So, yeah, there you go then, our two blanks, three brass rivets. Lovely clean holes. Yeah. Everybody likes a clean hole. I can bring that camera down a bit. Time for a dry run, yeah? I so, so, put them in, can we? Or yeah. would you prefer to put the, the chopper blank on top? Is it gonna work? No. Oh, it was going to go, actually. This is what happens when you get, like, a butcher just crashing into stuff. Nice and gentle. Yeah, 
Yeah, yes. <laughs> Need to hold that end Hopefully up, that too. New one. <laughs> yeah. That's going to look quite cool. Yeah. And like we say, we'll sand down so it meets the... What's that part of the knife cord? The tine, I just it? don't know anymore. Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> this is supposed to be a five-minute job. Um, the, the tang? I the think. tang? Yeah. I think that that'll really. do. So it'll all be flush with the tang, shaped, fettled, uh, massaged. Yeah, and get, some, uh, get, some, get some of your favourite mineral oil on oh, it. Yeah, that's good. Goat product. Yeah, goat product. <laughs> yeah, so what we need to do now is measure for the cut, isn't it? Yeah, we'll just put the, we'll put the cut lines on, run it through the cross cut saw. And then we're ready to glue the bad boy. Get it stuck together. Oh, can't wait. Does it dry clear? Uh, sort of. Yeah. It's a yellowy colour. Okay, time to get the clamps on. Okay. Lovely. Happy with that? I think so. It's all done. That's good because that goes round, you know, we've, we've flexed that around now. So, you leave this, I suppose, overnight, won't we? Well, we won't be able to do anything with it in five minutes from mixing. Yeah, sure, it? yeah. But, yeah, it's still got a bit, of, bit in it. Yeah. But, um, but then, yeah, the working time is a few hours. Yeah. It's so hot, I mean, it'll be a couple of hours. But cool. I think we're about done for the day anyway, aren't we? Yeah. Nice one, mate. So, a cup of tea time. getting closer aren't we all yeah it won't look very pretty at this stage no so what we're we going to do here we've got a bit of, bit of wood shifting to do yeah and shaping yeah. bit of shape shifting go for it mate <laughs> So we've roughed it out now, and now we're just going to start putting a bit of shape in it. So we followed the, the original Tang's curvature to some degree, and now we're just going to start sort of rolling it a little bit so it feels nicer in the hand. So already, you know, we've took the harshness out of it, haven't we? Yeah, yeah. we started to rock it a bit just to get that on top. I don't know. Yeah.
feeling about that now, mate. It's just amazing. Just amazing. I'm lost for words, I'll be honest with you. Just, yeah, you, it's unreal. You see the, 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 gold, uh, the gold rays? In yeah. Hmm. <laughs> 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 like, like your teenage years. So that's that oak out of the cathedral, so, you know, it's just an old Worcester butcher's chopper with oak from Worcester Cathedral. It's just beautiful, mate. I am literally lost for words. Look at it. From what we started with, jo all joking aside, what do you think of that now? Oh, I like it. That's pretty cool. I think it's amazing. We had a go at shaving with it, didn't we? Yeah. It, it removed a few hairs, yeah. roughly. Oh, it's sharp, all right, yeah. Bit too sharp for a shop. It is sharp, yeah. I mean, just the workmanship, mate, that's gone into it. And, like, if you spin it round, like you were doing earlier, it's just. I mean, look at that. What do you call those bits there, then? So we've got the, the rays, the golden rays of the oak. That's the way I love just where it catches the rays. Because of the orientation of the wood, we haven't got fleck in it. Yeah. But we did pick. Some interesting, some beautiful pieces, pattern grain, mate. I'm just, I've said it so many times, I just don't know what to say. I suppose you can hand it over now, can't you? Oh man, oh, look at that, mate. I'm just astounded your workmanship every fucking time. Just. Brilliant, mate.